Welcome and welcome back fellow fans of overpowered offensive metas. It is your host Galadon and yes it's true Tribe Gaming and OneHive just recently faced off in an all out bloodbath that resulted in a 120-120 tie. Now, if you break down the individual attacks, I think you can give the advantage to one of these clans and we'll talk about that at the end. For now, let's talk about the crazy offensive meta as Tribe has extended its flawless war win streak to 94 days, dozens of wins, and yes, like many of you have pointed out recently in my comments, it's not just thanks to the trusty Root Rider. There are many different strategies that are absolutely overpowered right now, much due to the fact that perhaps Town Hall 16 defenses are just not strong enough. I don't know if they need to maybe add another level to cannons and archer towers that are not combined into the new defenses. If Inferno Towers Expos need more DPS, something is going on and defense just cannot keep up. It is what some have said to be the worst balance in the history of Clash of Clans other than when hog riders or witches temporarily broke the game. So there has been this discussion about a pro mode in Clash. The interesting thing is that's never been necessary before. There was no discussion about that at Town Halls 13, 14, 15. So why now? Why specifically now are people talking about the need to ban certain spells or troops and have a pro mode to set things apart? I'm, you know, that could be something for a future episode for now let's talk again about root riders yeah they're strong not only did we see all three stars from both sides in this war but we also saw the average time for a three star be incredibly low yes most of these attacks are getting done in under two minutes this whole idea of the time being a factor for such a large base design uh no not even a consideration Okay, so real quick, let's take a look at another couple of sped up replays so that you can see other attack strategies, although it's interesting. Notice that the Siege Barracks Archer Queen Funnel was used both for the previous attack, the Root Riders, and this attack, Super Dragons, rolling in through the base in a very similar style. And we're going to see that in the third attack today, Spam is King with a little bit of rudimentary funneling. As soon as it begins, it's over. Okay, technically not that fast, but almost literally that fast. The Super Dragons take over and stop effing was not effing around in that attack. Now, Z-Rex is going in and yes, it is Electro Dragon Spam with a little tiny bit of funneling. They roll right in and they're going to three-star this base as well. So obviously a showcase of some of the best attacking and defensive bases in the game by these two clans, Tribe Gaming and OneHive. And it results in a much anticipated draw. I think pretty much everybody that saw this matchup happen figured this was going to be the result and we're seeing it over and over again. I believe Tribe has had four perfect war draws in the last two months, but the overall victory has to go to, okay, I may be biased, but I'm gonna say try because one hive had to do a bunch of cleanup attacks, whereas the vast majority of Tribe Gaming's three-star attacks were first attack triples. So the technical winner in this war was both Tribe Gaming and one hive, and the loser would be, be the Clash of Clans offensive meta. So no doubt there will be changes coming soon to Clash of Clans, perhaps more defensive upgrades, perhaps nerfs. We don't know how the balancing is going to work out. It just seems to be a foregone conclusion that changes are just around the corner. So thank you, Galafam, for sticking around all the way to the end of this exciting episode. Now get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planets. And of course, I hope to see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more three-star attacks. Galadon, Galadon, so you're saying I can spam and win with anything. No. It doesn't matter no. anymore. Is that true? No, that is not what I said, Peter.